Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid. You're going to watch this in October. I say it's for November. I urge you to watch it in November. Let's see what comes up. Cancer. Well, what do we have for Cancer for November? That was a pile. We have a pile. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Choose wisely. Options. You're going to have to choose wisely. Think about your options. You're going to have multiple choices. Choose wisely. There will be some wrong choices and there will be one right choice. So you're going to have to really think about it. Take time alone to think. Uh, yeah. Looks like you're going to be making a big decision this month. You want to go this way? You want to go that way? You, you know, which way you want to go? North, west, east, south? <laughs> Up, down? <laughs> what do we have? What do we have for cancer? Difficult choice. Choose wisely. What you own, owns you. Is this what you really want? Two of Cups. This is about a partnership. You have a choice between two different people. You do. What are you going to do? It's a big, big, big decision. So yeah, you got a choice. It's a big one. What does your heart want? take those. Cain, pay attention to your health. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Could be dealing with a Taurus or two. Um, Cain, pay attention to your health. Choose wisely. You know, when you don't choose with, with your heart, it affects your health. This person appears to be alone. You know, growing old alone. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. This person may have a lot, but nobody cares. You know? So... You know, you may need to choose wisely. Like I said, what you, what what you own owns you. Your your house, your business, your cars, all that is one thing. Love is another. Two of cups. Choice between two. What's it gonna be? You have a potential soulmate here. Do you see it? Or are you oblivious? Ha! Ah, somebody who, who doesn't see. High priestess reverse. Lack of spirituality. May think that they know, but they don't. Ignores intuition. You may have somebody here that is overly reliant on psychics or tarot readers or something like that. Doesn't listen to their gut at all. Will not listen to any advice. Somebody that ignores them themselves. You could also be dealing with somebody that isn't very feminine. Not very feminine at all. Could be you, could be a woman, another woman. There's a woman here that isn't very feminine. Doesn't have a lot of femininity about her. Holding on. Somebody's holding on to something. Obsessed. Obsessed. 
Greedy, selfish. Ooh. Death, the end. Happiness. So this is the end of something. It's the end of a life. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of uh, a situation which allows a new beginning. Somebody has been in a state of denial. They haven't been listening to their gut. They haven't been following their heart, which we already identified. Somebody's not following their heart. They're not expressing their true feelings. They're keeping secrets. They're keeping it to themselves. I do think that there needs to be an expression. Somebody needs to express their feelings, but they're very, very stubborn. We have somebody here that is stubborn as hell. And the death card is an ending. It's a, it's a profound life change. So it is... Oh, it's a separation. It's, the death is a separation. It's a loss. It's the end. Okay, death is an ending. I know people don't want to hear it, but it is. It's the end. It's the end of holding on. It's the end of life as you know it. Okay? With a new beginning to follow. So there is a new beginning to follow, but we have one individual here that is refusing to follow their heart and listen to their gut. They're so stubborn, very, very, very stubborn. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But they have to make a choice. They do, and I already know what it is. It's between heart or money, right? Heart or the bank account, love or the job, you know? What's it going to be? Hmm. Now, this is a new beginning, an exciting new beginning, a happy new beginning where there's great health. Uh, healing, uh, positivity, it's a very positive time, it's a new beginning, a new day, a breakthrough, a time of growth. Uh, this could be a rebirth of some sort, it could be news of a birth, but this is a new beginning. It's a positive new beginning, but we have somebody here that wants to hold on for dear life to something that is monetary. It's not, mo it's not, that, that monetary bullshit is not going to make you happy, just saying. You may think it is, may look good to the outside world, right? Work, 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 work. Hmm. Yeah. So thinking, 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 thinking about your next move, not taking any action. You're probably pointing the finger at somebody else because that's what everybody does, right? Oh, I'm gonna point the finger at them. Well, that's the easy way out. So, um, hmm, we got somebody here that is thinking. They're thinking about the ending. They're thinking about what has happened. They're thinking about their next move. They can't follow their heart because they're fearful. They're very negative. They think negative. They, they don't like to give in. This person is very stubborn. They bury themselves in their job because that's an easy way to mask their feelings and to hide their feelings. If I just focus on my job and my work, I don't have to focus on my feelings. So I'm just going to, you know, that's the best route to take at this moment. That's what's going on here. But we do have an opportunity for happiness and somebody is being guided to go after happiness, but they are very intimidated. I do think there's an intimidator here. Um, there could be a bitch among you. Uh, this person um, is very intimidating. I do see intimidation here. Somebody may be working with a bitch, you know, and it's hard. It's hard to communicate with this person. This person is hard to love. They are hard to deal with because they, they question things. And when somebody questions things, it's easier to just run than to answer those questions. So that's a problem. That's what we got here. You can't run away from problems. You need to be able to face them. If you're looking for extreme happiness and something long term that's going to last forever, communication is key. You can't run from communication. So uh, I think that there's going to be uh, somebody is guided to open up. They're guided to confess their feelings. They're guided to go after what their heart wants and face opposition and not run from it. Put in effort. If you want a relationship to work, put in effort. Don't run from it. We have somebody here that gives up prematurely. They give up instead of putting in effort when they should be putting in effort. Um, I do have the tower on the bottom, which is a, which is a, um, well, we all know what the tower is. It's a major disruption. 
It's a shock, a fated event, a, a change, a, a life change, a major life change that forces you to take action. So be prepared to experience a uh, major disruption. It's like a tornado hits, okay? This is like a tornado to me, okay? It's like a tornado hits, okay? And and, and your whole world come cra comes crashing down and you have no choice but to make a move. So you got to make a move. You're going to be making a move this month. You may be uh, rebuilding. You may be rebuilding a new foundation. You may be going someplace. You may be changing your plans. You may be doing a new roof. Maybe you got to build a new roof. I don't know what's going on. Um, whatever is going on. Um, I feel like you have been struggling. You've been struggling a lot to let go of... Uh, some sort of obsession there's an obsession here and it's struggling to let go struggling to release struggling to be open-minded you know and to express it's like express your feelings don't hold them in and I know cancer you're really good express at expressing your feelings it's 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 either you think about the upright versus the reverse in some ways you're really, really, really good at expressing your feelings. You're very, very emotional. But if, on the other, on the other hand of the stick, you know, or whatever, the other end of the stick. If you think about the teeter totter, okay, whatever. On one hand, you're really, really good. Some days you can express your feelings like, like they just you can't even control yourself. Your feelings just come out. And in no time, you're on that other end where it's clammed up. Okay, it's like psoop, psoop, nothing's coming out. Done. So, you know, you've got to be able to balance. You need to be able to balance those emotions. I see we have somebody here that is not communicating their feelings, okay? What they're doing is burying themselves in their work, okay? They're burying themselves in their job, and they're obsessed with money more than they are a relationship. And when that happens, you can't expect a relationship to last, okay? If, you're not, if you can't focus on a relationship, then it's not going to last, so anyhow, um, I think that you're going to be communicating or you're going to, you're going to be dealing with an individual that, uh, may be looking for some attention. This person may want, you know, to you to be a little bit more committed to them. You know, somebody may want a commitment. You may have an opportunity to get into a commitment, a new commitment. This is new commitment, you know. Some of you may even be, you know, getting engaged to. I mean, I know I'm changing that, but there could be an engagement here. Or birth. Um, somebody's, somebody's commitment could be stepping it up to the next level. Should there be communication where somebody expresses their feelings. Now, that page of cups reverse is sad news. Okay, that's sad news. Could be... You know, a rejection, somebody getting their bubble burst, you know, uh, somebody's bubble is being burst. There, there's a rejection. There's a one sided to, uh, what's the freaking word for that? Uh, unrequited love. And there could be an unrequited love situation here. Somebody may be with somebody that they are not well suited for. They're not as well suited with. There's not any attraction, like I said. And whether it's you or the person you're with, this is like a one-sided relationship where there's no real attraction. There's no love there. There's no sexual attraction. There's, it's, I mean, this this is like a man with a woman that isn't very feminine. And I know that we have that in, in same-sex relationships, and that's okay. But this is like no attraction, however it resonates with you. There's there's no attraction here. There's no, there isn't. That's what it looks like to me. But holding on for the stability of it, that's your choice. There's consequences for that. You want to give up your happiness to hold on to somebody that you're not attracted to, that you're not in love with, when you could have something more beautiful, something extremely beautiful, something, you know, a lot better suited for you. Well, that's your choice. Okay, it's your choice. This is all about your choice, but there's consequences that go with this choice. So this month you're going to be thinking about, you know, ending something or you may be ending it. This is an ending, okay? And struggling to let go of whoever this person is that doesn't suit you. That's what we got here. You're going to be struggling to let go of somebody that doesn't suit you that you are holding on to for comfort maybe. I, that's what it looks like to me. Maybe you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to face opposition or something like that or you're or you're afraid of commitment or I don't know what. 
Um, but I do feel as though you are being guided. You are definitely, there's like a guiding light here, guiding light. So you are being guided. You are being guided to, to go down a new path. You're being guided to follow your intuition. You're being guided to choose what your heart wants, not what your wallet wants, not what the neighbors want, not what your family wants. You're being guided to choose what you want. And maybe it is. I mean, for some of you, it is a same-sex relationship. Does not, not for all of you, I understand. But whatever it is, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Choose what you want. Good luck.